LEGO Indiana Jones is a great licensed theme that ran from 2008 to 2009 and recently came back in 2023. In this video, I'm going to be ranking every LEGO Indiana Jones set, and I'm not including the Polybag, the Comic-Con set, or the unreleased Temple of Doom set. Number 19 is Jungle Duel. It comes with three minifigures, the classic Indiana Jones, Mutt Williams, and Arena Spalco. The main build is a simple tent. I don't love the big fabric pieces like this, but it does work well. It also comes with a table that can break in half, which is a really cool feature, a sword stand that can spin around, a crate, and a little campfire. It's an alright small set, but nothing too special. Number 18 is Fight on the Flying Wing. It comes with four minifigures, Indy, Marion Ravenwood, the airplane mechanic, and a German soldier. This is the only set from the theme I kinda don't like a major part of. It's not completely bad though. The plane may be accurate to the movie, but I just don't like the design of it. It has a weird design with the short cockpit and the huge wing piece. In the middle, it has space for storage, and on the back there is a gunner position. I do like the build for the fuel truck. I love LEGO vehicles in this style, and it has a hose so you can act like you're refueling the plane. This isn't a bad set, and probably a great set for play. I just personally don't like that plane. Number 17 is Chachia Cemetery Battle. It comes with five minifigures, Indy, Mutt, two cemetery warriors, and a skeleton. This set looks more like a display set with two sections that can split apart, but it does have some good features, like an area for a warrior to hide under, a wall that can flip for a figure to go through, and a treasure room at the end with a chest and a crystal skull, which is a neat piece. And it also comes with a cool motorcycle. Number 16 is Indiana Jones Motorcycle Chase. It comes with three minifigures, Indy, Professor Henry Jones Sr., and a German soldier. There's not much to this set. It comes with two motorcycles, one with a sidecar, a booth with a gate that can go up and down, and two boxes and a flag. Even though it isn't much, it's still a decent small set for the theme. Number 15 is Ambush in Cairo. It comes with four minifigures, Indy, Marion, both in their Cairo outfits, Cairo Swordsman, and Cairo Thug. This set represents a pretty iconic scene where Indy just shoots the Swordsman, and the builds in this set fill out that scene well. There's a little market stand with some apples, a cart, and a barrel. This is another great small set with some good simple builds. Number 14 is Peril in Peru. It comes with six minifigures, Indy, Mutt, Arena, Colonel Dovchenko, a Russian guard, and a pilot. This is a solid plane build, and I like it a lot more than the flying wing. But what's weird about this set is that it wasn't in the movie. The plane has retractable landing gear, but the interior is lacking a bit. It also comes with a really nice car build, a weird looking tractor with two different trailers, one for cargo and one is stairs to get up to the plane. And it comes with some cargo. Number 13 is River Chase. It comes with four minifigures, Indy, Marion, and two Russian guards. The main build for the car is a good one. It's a nice unique design that has a boat shape because it can go in the water in the movie, and there's a gun in the front and some gear in the back. Then there is a tree build with a small hideout on top with a feature to drop a net down. It also comes with a small boat and a crocodile. Number 12 is Jungle Cutter. It comes with four minifigures, Indy, Colonel Dovchenko, and two Russian guards. The Jungle Cutter is a really good vehicle for play. It has the big saws in the front that spin around when it moves forward, and it has an explosion feature in the middle when you push a piece in the back. There's also a cave build with a feature to raise a web and reveal a crate with some stuff in it, which does add to the scene a bit. And then there's three small trees for the cutter to cut down. This is just a really fun and great playset. Number 11 is Indiana Jones and the Lost Tomb. It comes with three minifigures, Indy, Marion, and a skeleton. This is a pretty good location set, which is a type of set I always love to see. It has the two statues, which can both fall to break out the walls, one of which has the skeleton hidden behind it. Then there's the Ark in the middle and a feature above it to drop a bunch of snakes. There's also, of course, the Star Wars reference that was actually in the movie. Number 10 is Fighter Plane Chase, the first of the 2023 sets. It comes with three minifigures, Updated figures of Indy, who I personally think looks better than the old one with the hat and hair combo piece, Henry Jones Sr., and the fighter pilot. This is the only one of the 2023 sets that I think the older version looks better. The plane is a good build with the feature to remove the wings and stud shooters, but it's very small. I also like the addition of the car and the style of it with two seats and storage in the back. But I like both planes more in the older set than both of these builds, even though I still do like them. And it also comes with a small side build for the sign. Number 9 is Escape from the Lost Tomb. It comes with four minifigures, great updated versions of Indy and Marion, and the great additions of Sala for the first time and a cool mummy. I think this set is done better than the previous version and it certainly looks better for display. This time only one of the statues can fall over to knock down part of the wall, but I don't like that there isn't a way to keep the statue in place so it doesn't fall over too easily when you move it around. 
It also has the arc, a feature to drop a snake from the wall, and the Star Wars reference again. The last feature is a feature on the back to flip down the mummy and scare Marion, which is a fine feature, but I don't like how it sticks out in the back. I think this set looks better, but the play features might not be done as well as the previous version. Number 8 is the Temple of the Crystal Skull. It comes with 10 minifigures. Indy, Mutt, Arena, a Russian Guard, 2 Uga Warriors, 3 Akator Skeletons, and a regular Skeleton. The main temple part is built up on a raised base plate to make it seem bigger, which is something we don't see anymore in modern sets. There's a feature in the front where all the steps can be pushed out, which is fine, but I don't like how all the steps are loose. At the top, there is a tower that can open and close, and there is a feature to move two heads up and down, which doesn't really add anything. On the inside, there are some traps, an openable wall, and the seating room that can spin around. The different sections of the temple can also be easily removed. It also comes with the temple entrance and a vehicle that isn't one of the best vehicles in the theme. This is a cool set, but it has some features that don't seem to work well or are kind of useless. Number 7 is Race for the Stolen Treasure. It comes with 4 minifigures, Indy and 3 German soldiers. This set is made up of 2 great vehicle builds. The first one is a jeep-like vehicle with a gun on the back, and the other is a big truck with treasure on the back. And like I mentioned before, I don't really like the fabric pieces like the one on this truck, but it looks fine. It also comes with a horse for Indy. Number 6 is Venice Canal Chase. It comes with 4 minifigures, Indy in a suit, Elsa, Kazem, and a Grail Guardian. The first build is a location build to represent the Venice Canal. It has a bridge to go over the canal, a feature to blow up the dock, and a manhole cover that can fit a minifigure inside. The other two builds are very similar boats, but they both have different features. Indy's boat has a feature to explode the engine in the middle, and Kazem's boat has a feature to break in half. Then it also comes with these two water poles, I don't really know what they're called. But this is a fantastic set with great builds and awesome play features. Number 5 is Fighter Plane Attack. It comes with three minifigures, Indy, Jones Sr., and a German soldier. It comes with two planes, and like I said, I like them more than the newer set. Indy's plane is probably my favorite of the two. It has a nice shape with a red and white color scheme, two seats with a turret on the back that can spin around, and work as flick fire missiles, with stickers on the tail to show where it was shot. There's also a little storage compartment below the turret. The second plane is also a really good build. It also has two seats, flick fire missiles, and a nice feature to pop off the wings, which I think is better than the newer version of that feature. Number 4 is Shanghai Chase. It comes with 5 minifigures, Indy in a white tux, which is one of my favorite variants of him, Short Round, Willie Scott, and 2 Shanghai Gangsters. It comes with 2 cars, both of which I like the look and style of. The first one is Indy's car, which again is my favorite of the two. It has a fabric piece with a cutout in it to have a figure crash through the roof like in the movie. It has two seats, and the trunk can also be removed for storage. The other car looks more boxy, but it works, and it also has two seats in the front and more space for storage or for a figure in the back. Number three is the Temple of Doom. It comes with six minifigures, Indy, Short Round, Willy, Mala Ram with a cool headpiece, and two temple guards. Most of the space in this set is taken up by a minecart track. It has two minecarts and play features along the track, one being a feature to block the second cart when one goes past that doesn't work too well, another feature to drop some rocks on a cart, and at the end of the track the cart will push the stopper over a little. The main platform has the statue with a feature to push the stones out and a trapdoor to drop a figure through, and it comes with two little fire pieces. Number two is Temple Escape. It comes with six minifigures, Indy, Satipo, Jock, Renee Bullock, and two skeletons. Before the 2023 sets were revealed, I would have put this at number one, but looking at it now, it doesn't look that great, especially since the newer version looks amazing. But even then, this is such a classic set with great features, and I couldn't decide to move it any lower. Indy can go through the temple with a lot of traps along the way, like swinging blades, shooting spears, and the iconic boulder chase feature. Behind that is a hidden door that can lift up, and an area where Indy can swing over a gap. And at the end there is the idol, and when removed, the back wall falls forward. Then it also comes with Jock's plane with seating for two. Even though this set hasn't aged as well, it's still a legendary set representing an iconic scene with nice features. And number one is Temple of the Golden Idol. It comes with five minifigures, Indy, Satipo, Rene Bullock, the nice addition of the Hobitos Warrior, and a skeleton. This set is more display focused, being a diorama set with the quotes on the front, and even though I usually don't prefer sets like this, I think this one is done really well, and it still has great features with knobs in the front to activate them. 
The first one is the boulder chase again, and the boulder rolls down pretty smooth, but it's in a small space so it feels weird. Then there is a hidden door that can slide up and down, with an area where a figure can swing across. And lastly, there is the idol area with a light brick to light up the idol, and a feature to move the pedestal down a little while the statue face can fall down when the idol is removed. This is a fantastic display piece with some features with cool mechanisms. So that was my ranking of every LEGO Indiana Jones set. I really love this theme and hope they make more sets in the future. But anyway, that's all I have to say. See you next time, goodbye.